Good morning, beloved saints of God. Thank you for tuning in to Becoming Love this beautiful Sunday morning and for listening to WKXB Radio. In three days, it will be the first day of summer. I'm so looking forward to it. We're continuing to read today from the journal Holy Spirit's Hand, written in 1993. It's a daily devotional Bible with Bible references after each day's message to memorize and to meditate on. I pray that the words are an encouragement and a help to you in time of need. Take, take them and keep them for yourself as the Holy Spirit touches your heart and soul and your spirit to bring you comfort and joy. The first reading is called Garment of Praise. Don't let life get you down. In all things praise and be thankful. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. When you feel good, you sing and make melody in your heart to the Lord. That's good. But it's also good to do this when you are going through bad situations as well. Trials of your faith. And when you don't feel like praising because you feel grief or sorrow or you're sad or lonely or feel in a depressed or melancholy mood. Look for me to bring something good out of every situation. Never despair. Always trust, always praise. Keep your shield of faith held up high and keep your light burning and your lamp trimmed. That is, to walk daily in love, in honesty, and in the living word. I will bless your efforts. I love you, Father. Verses to memorize and meditate on. Psalm 119.62 At midnight... I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. Psalm 71, 6 By thee have I been holden up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. Psalm 35, 27, and 28 Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Psalm 150, 1 through 6. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Isaiah 61, 1-3 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Isaiah 61, 10 and 11 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garment of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and a bride adorneth herself with jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Psalm 149, 1-5 through 5. 
Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Psalm 146, 1 and 2. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being. The next reading is Intercession. There is a spirit of intercession that comes to those who seek for it. This is of the Holy Ghost, and the interceding Christian should humble himself and become as Jesus in the garden before he was crucified, willing to follow God, though he was in sorrow and heaviness of soul and grieving over sin and the lost sheep of Israel and the cross. He was obedient unto death because of the joy that was set before him. Because of the joy that was set before him. As Christians, we join our hearts with the suffering of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God, over our lost loved ones and problem situations and over lawlessness and injustice and crime and famine and disease and war and death praying for his kingdom to come and his will to be done in the earth, praying in tongues in the Spirit, as in Romans 8:26, the Holy Ghost praying in you and through you with all perseverance and faithfulness. Seek the will of the Lord to be done. But when you arise from your knees, leave the spirit of intercession at the altar of God. Don't be overburdened with overmuch sorrow nor take upon yourself to solve other people's problems, nor the problems of the world. Leave it with God alone. Remember the serenity prayer? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. It does not mean to condone them in their sin, nor does it mean to think things are unchangeable or will never change. To accept here means to realize it is out of your hands. It is for you to pray to be able to change the things you can change and have the wisdom to know the difference. Do you know what to pray for to be effective? Pray as the Spirit gives utterance. Pray without ceasing. This is to go about in all humility of soul in an attitude of prayer. Pray in your closet, your private place of prayer. And the Lord sees you and hears you and always receives you openly. He never turns anyone away. Then arise, wash your face, and put on your garment of praise, and count it all joy as you go about your daily duties in the peace of mind and joyful love, counting it all joy. And the Lord gives to those who are faithful. Philippians 4, 6 says to be anxious for nothing, but trust God and wait patiently for the answers to your prayer. To your prayers, they will come. Verses to memorize and meditate on. Second Kings twenty two nineteen. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard, because thine heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord, when thou heardest what I spake against this place and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse and hast rent thy clothes and wept before me, I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore, I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered into thy grave in peace, and thine eyes shall not see all the evils which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. He was talking to the king here because he had prayed that the Lord would spare Judah and Israel and not bring upon them all the wrath of God because they had turned to idols to worship. And I claim this verse for myself because our country is in such a state as this. And I pray the Lord to bring them back to him and 
do not let me live to see the wrath that is to come upon the earth. Hebrew 12, 2. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, lay us aside every weight and the sin which so persistently harasses us, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And Philippians 2, 8 says, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every other name. Hebrew 12, 28 and 29. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Romans 8, 26 and 28. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the will and mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Acts 2, 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17 Rejoice evermore, and pray without ceasing. This is the end of today's reading. Please pray with me. Father God, thank you for these words we have received as coming from your Spirit, and out of the Holy Bible, given to us for edification and sanctification, that we may grow into the mature bride and body of Christ, even his holy temple, wherein he dwells, in whom we live and move and have our being. Thank you, Father and Lord Jesus Christ, that we have the Comforter with us to teach us and console us as we carry our own cross each individually, and we do it joyfully until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our High King and High Priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek, we ask with grateful hearts that we may always ab abide in your favor and in your grace. Amen. If you would like to hear this program again, instead of going to YouTube search, it's much easier to go get to my Becoming Love page if you just go to Google search and type in WKXB Radio Becoming Love at Reverend Dr. Diana Faye Houston. That's go to Google search and type in WKXV Radio, Becoming Love, at Reverend Dr. Diana Faye Houston. This is 2023-06-18, Program 119, Holy Spirit's Hand. Thank you for listening and for your prayers, and for this program to continue according to the will of God. I really appreciate your prayers and your moral support. I need you. I love you, beloved. Thank you for abiding in the Lord Jesus and hearing these words. God bless you. I hope you can join me again next week. Until then. <laughs>